Hello everybody and welcome to this new video tutorial about how to draw a square. I'll be demonstrating how you can easily draw a square using a compass, a straight edge and a pencil. Uh, this step is very very necessary uh, to create geometric patterns and uh, I'll be exploring more uh, of the geometric patterns and showing you more and more geometric patterns in the next video so uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, feel free to ask any questions in the comment section so let's begin we start with actually giving you a, a very important uh, couple of uh, or very important couple of tips i would say um, when you're placing when you're not using your compass Please place the needle away from your hands. That way, if you're moving around with your hands, if you're reaching out to grab the compass, you don't end up hurting uh, your hand or, uh, or fingers against the needle. That's one um, important tip for you. And um, the other one would be what I'm drawing with a straight edge. It's always better to keep the ruler or square set or um, straight edge away from me so this way i can see clearly where the line is and i actually eliminate and reduce the errors against the point so with the, with this out of the way let's start so uh, my very first step is to actually draw a horizontal line now usually i'll uh, use very very light lines so um but because i'm actually demonstrating this on video um i'll be darkening my lines a bit so that you can see them uh, very clearly so this is my first line the horizontal line what i do next is open the compass um let's say to it doesn't uh, matter but um, I'll be marking the midpoint on this horizontal line. Next, I'll be placing the compass, making a mark on either sides of the center line. Next, what I'll do is I will increase the compass opening and actually place the needle on the point that I've marked on the right, I will draw an arc over the top, another arc over the bottom. Make sure the arcs extend and overlap and cover above the midpoint. So without changing the opening of the compass, and please be careful here, we always keep the compass opening until the same until we finished all the steps. When you're opening or closing the compass and changing its um, uh, distance, it does introduce errors into your drawing. So here's another important tip for you. So uh, with the compass open, I will mark two arcs on top and bottom. What I'll do next is I will now join here I am placing the compass with the needle away from my hand. It will then, for the next step, be extending the line between these two points, joining the lines between these two points. And here I am, I get a perpendicular. Now you can see that I already got like a very small error here, which is fine. What I'll do is I will redraw the line and that's okay. We all make mistakes and that's part of the process. What's good about this is that if you're following along, you probably now figured out um, that it's a very relaxing uh, technique and it's uh, actually a very, very enjoyable and calming practice. So um, after I have my perpendicular line, I will then set the opening for the square. And um, if I'm going for a, let's say, four centimeter by four centimeter square, I will actually need to open 
the compass by two centimeters. So I'll mark the two centimeters. So let me make this more obvious on the drawing. So I'll mark the two centimeters. And uh, what I'll do is I will make sure to open the compass exactly two centimeters. And with this compass open, I'll make the mark here, which was already done. I'll make another mark on the top, mark on the bottom, and a mark on the right hand side. With the compass on the same opening distance, I will start marking the arcs on top on the bottom on the right hand side from the top i will mark left and right on the left hand side i will mark the top and the bottom and then back to the final point on the bottom I will mark the right and the left. So here I am. I've got the four corners of the square. And uh, believe you me, it is a perfect square, but it seems skewed in the video because, you know, I'm uh, using an iPhone to capture the overhead view. And uh, it's just showing as. Um, not really straight, but it is straight in real life. So again, what I do now is join these lines carefully. And uh, here I get my perfect square. And, um, I can join the diagonals in preparation for drawing the for drawing the base unit of my pattern, which I'll be covering in future uh, videos. There are other ways, of course, to draw the square, but this one is probably one of the most accurate because it really depends on fewer steps and uh, maintaining the same opening of the compass. So the errors are minimal, but you have to realize and understand that all um, drawings carried out by hand are uh, error prone so you always have errors and that's okay uh, as long as um, you know you're enjoying the process so um, until next time please uh, like uh, this video if you enjoyed the tutorial please subscribe to my channel and uh, feel free to ask any questions below uh, if you'd like to be notified of my next videos in this series, where we'll be exploring more geometric art, uh, please hit uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much. Until then, have a nice day.